Hey guys, Brandon here with Texas Plinking. Before we get into today's video, I just want to give a big thanks to Case Club for sending me out this right here. This, for just a normal range day, is pretty cool. It's a portable chair that you can have a backrest on and roll it around. So it's actually pretty convenient, but the best part is you could actually put stuff in it. It's got locks right here, so we could go ahead and lock or unlock and open it up. And so that's pretty darn neat. It is pre-cut for your eight pistols. Um, right now we have got the P320, the M983, 1911, uh, uh, Smith & Wesson um, 357, uh, 686 plus, and the uh, six hour Texas edition 1911. I did want to give a big thanks to Case Club. They have their huge Amazon store with all kinds of different cases, smaller, larger, this eight one suite. Uh, but it's just a way that if you don't know what you want to shoot, but you know you're gonna have a range day, why not just bring everything? But that's kind of cool. Uh, really, really well made and well priced too. So link in the description if you guys want to check out some Case Club. But let's go over to the truck and talk about today's subject matter. All right, I know I sound like a broken record, but please excuse the wind. Not much I could do about it. But today's video is about the Sig Sauer uh, P226 Legion SAO. It's been featured before on the channel, but I've never done a dedicated video to it, but I've been wanting to. Main reason being, as the title might suggest, however I decide to title it, it is, at the moment, my favorite handgun I've ever owned and actually shot, just in the way of how it shoots. Uh, obviously, there's exciting things like uh, engraved 1911, this and that, but as far as just absolute performance and how it feels, I haven't found a pistol I like more than this one right here. So, let's get into it. By the way, this is a Thorn and Fire a Genuine Leather Bag. They sent this out to me, so big thanks to them, but these are really, really great pistol uh, range bags as we'll get into. And they're actually hooking you guys up. You guys can save, uh, I believe it's 15% by using the code PLINK. I'll go ahead and display that information here and a link in the description, of course. Uh, but let's get into it. In here, we have got this hilarious mag that I'll talk about later. Uh, these are 18 round capacity mags. I've got two of them here. I believe it comes with two from the factory too. I bought this used, so. Uh, but yeah, cool camouflage in the casing as well. And then the gun itself right here. So I actually picked this gun up around, I think it was late November, early, mid December. I kind of forgot, but uh, this was one that I've been wanting for a long time before. And I never just pulled the trigger on it because of the price. I didn't know enough about it. It goes from anywhere from, if you can find a really good deal, you might be right under $1,300, but I think MSRP goes for just about, or maybe just over $1,400 for a pistol quite a good chunk of money. Uh, I know that 2011s from STI, Nighthawks, it could go way beyond that, but those are custom pistols and performance, like, you know, uh, for sport. This is just a Sig Sauer. I mean that as in Sig Sauer is great, but I mean, $1,400, that's a good chunk of money. So I really, really wanted it, but didn't necessarily do it until I luckily went to my local gun store. And for some weird reason, they had a used one. They don't really trade hands that often. People who get them know exactly what they want and they stick with them, but it was a pre-owned one and they priced it really, really fair. So I got mine for just under $900 uh, before tax. So I was around like 940 or so. So I was pretty happy. If I had shot it before, uh, I would have paid the full $1,400 for it, no problem. But I didn't know until I got mine and shot it. So let's just talk about it because I know you guys are looking at me like I'm crazy. To you guys that are just barely into guns or not really into guns, but you like the videos anyway, I've got a couple of those subscribers. You're just seeing this as a mundane, no thrills, black handgun. It looks like any other. If you're into guns, you might see the uh, slight differences that will make it special. So what is this? So Six Hour makes great guns, obviously. Uh, the P226, that's a series of guns they make. This is a step beyond that. They make the 226 Legion. So that's signified right here with their logo. It comes in a really cool case I had to bring out today and a cool little coin, like a challenge coin. Uh, so it's a cool little, not collectible, but a cool piece to add to the collection, if you will. But the Legion series steps it up just a little bit better as far as just how everything performs. Uh, trigger has been reworked, everything like that. Uh, the color is really cool. It's this like uh, satin gray versus just a black. So it does look very pretty. It's nice and subtle. Legion grips. Uh, a couple more things here and there. There's one step even above that. It's the Legion SAO or single action only. What that's gonna give you is this really beautiful flat trigger, super light, breaks like glass and an ambidextrous safety here. So you just switch it right here. What that should be reminiscent of, and I mentioned this before, is a 1911. My personal before this, that was just my favorite gun platform. It was so simple. It just felt great in the hands. All the controls were right there. And I'm big on the safety myself. Um, that's why I like the 1911. So single action only, back to that. Like the 1911, whenever you pull the trigger, again, I'm gonna make sure this is empty, no mag. Uh, when you pull the trigger, it's gonna be ready to shoot and the hammer goes forward. Versus in a gun like the Beretta M9A3 with the safety, it could act as a decocker or whatever else or double action, none of that. 
single action only. Just like kind of in a revolver, you could prime the hammer back and it's a really light trigger. This thing will only shoot in its lightest trigger form. So that's awesome, I like that. So let's just say I had a mag in there, it's cycled, throw the safety on there. You could go ahead and holster it, bring it up, throw it down and it's just ready to go in its lightest form. Thing with the Breda M983 for me, I never got the idea of putting that in there, you know, cycling it, then putting it on safety because it decocks it and then the first shot you do, it's a very heavy trigger and then all the ones after that's light. I'm not a fan of that. I want all the trigger pulls to feel the exact same in single action. That's me and that's why I love this thing. Beyond that though, just overall fit, finish, everything. It's such a tight tolerance, beautiful gun. I mean, just everything on it just feels super slick. I'm probably boring you guys with a bunch of words, so why don't I shoot it? And then we'll go ahead and during reload, we'll go ahead and talk a little bit more. All right, let's go ahead and put a couple of rounds down range. All that talk about how much I love it, but I actually haven't shot it in like a little over a month or two. So excuse me for my misses. Right on. Let's go ahead and check out the targets. All right, so as you guys could tell, some new steel. Uh, I just want to give a big thanks to shootsteel.com for sending these out. All of these were actually provided by Shoot Steel. So big thanks to them. I just set them up. They took no time to set up. They're really cool. Uh, next time I'm out here, I'm gonna go ahead and put spray paint so we can see, but still got the uh, the hits really nice here. So that's some uh, really nice steel AR500. That's uh, some thick stuff, 3 8 I believe. Or maybe half, I'm not sure, but that is some really, really nice steel. So you can see it stacked them on here. Uh, kind of had some misses because the uh, challenge with this one is once I hit it, it started swinging. So I tried to hit it while it was swinging and uh, gave me a little bit of a challenge. This one's a cool one, a little popper here under spring tension. Uh, hit it here, 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 and here. Cool, because once it fires up, it swings right back up. So that's cool, you don't have to reset that. And then I shot that one a couple times, got two of those. So big thanks to Shoot Steel. And uh, they too are being awesome and helping you guys out. Uh, by giving 10% off steel. So I'll just play the coupon code for that. You guys know you can't have enough steel targets. So if you guys are looking to building a range or adding to your current range, 10% off on shoot steel. And after a certain price, they ship for free. So go ahead and check that out. Link in the description, of course. Let's get back to shooting. Let's try a little bit of one-handed. Sounds like music. All right, real quick, let's talk about the ergonomics on this thing. Like I said, uh, side safety, really, really nice, ambidextrous. Uh, you also have to uh, release the slide. You could go ahead and obviously pull it back a little bit, just like any other handgun, or with your thumb. Let's talk about cleaning it. So this is a used gun. I don't know how many rounds were put before it. It seemed like I had a couple little nicks and ticks, so I'd imagine it was well used. It's a SIG, so I don't care. It's gonna keep on going as long as I do. I have probably, in my ownership, uh, between me and friends putting rounds down range, probably has had 1500 to 2000 rounds and I've actually only cleaned it once. It just doesn't get that dirty uh, at all. So it can handle a lot of abuse. When I get home, I'll go ahead and clean it just to do a little update on it. But it's a, it's a solid performer, not one single hiccup. Let's talk about some more ergonomics though. Um, you have got a uh, bottom rail right here. You can put a light, laser, whatever else you want. Uh, and the when, when I have done that, it's just such an easy point of access with that, with whenever I put an Olight PL on there or something like that. Um, what else? The sights are really, really nice. I'll put some B-roll later. They are, of course, night sights for the money. You'd expect that, but they're really low profile. They're not meant to be run with like a suppressor, so they're not trying to protrude past that. They're super sleek, super low profile, but the way the front sight post fills in with that back uh, two post, is like a perfect puzzle piece. It just slits in there perfectly. There's not a whole lot of margin for moving. And that's why it's just easier to hold it steady just because the sights line up so well. Let's talk about the grip real quick. It looks odd, but it just feels really, really nice. It's got like this like perfect uh, uh, parallel thing right here and it bows out weird. It's kind of rounded out here, a little fat. It's a little bit um, flared out for quicker reloads, not by much, um, but overall it's a whole metal frame with this piece on top. 
but the grooving, everything on it, the Legion logo looks kind of cool too. Um, but yeah, just the way your hand fits around that, it is really, really nice and it honestly kind of spoils you. I kind of go back to one of my favorite guns, just a 1911, and it starts feeling too thin or whatever else. I just like the way this feels. It just feels like every handgun should just feel like that. All right, I said I'd show you this. This is ridiculous. This was a, uh, an impulsive Bass Pro Shop, or was it Cabela's, uh, purchase. It's a Pro Mag 31 round mag for this thing. It is not fully loaded, trust me. I have fully loaded it once, and I felt like the mag would never run dry, and my finger was very, very tired. So I have five in here, just to show you what it looks like. If this were full auto, that'd be fantastic, but it's not. So let's just fire off five real quick. Or six. All right, it's time to go ahead and let my mom have a go with the 226 Legion now. So uh, let's see how she does. about it in decent detail but I thought we'd just go ahead and make a video on its own because it deserves it being just about my favorite handgun I've ever shot so I'm glad to own it I would say if you guys are lucky enough to find a used one and if it's uh, pretty good savings then get it uh, otherwise if you guys are considering one and there's only an option of getting it new I don't think you guys would be disappointed if you guys know what you're getting into if you're a 1911 fan but want something modern uh, double stacked mag that holds 18 rounds of 9 millimeter versus you know eight rounds of 45 ACP a lot more flat shooting it's just really really robust fun to shoot um yeah i've been really enjoying my time with it again i just want to thank case club for sending out that case again link in the description check out anything they've got from four eight twelve pistol all kinds of stuff even rifle cases so link in the description to their amazon store uh also thorn and fire for their leather bag again save 15 percent with the uh, coupon code plank and then save 10 percent with the uh coupon code i'm displaying here for shoot steel again big thanks to shoot steel but that'll just about do it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day